Hello everyone! How are you today? I am your teacher, Jem Raymond, and today we are going to discuss the part 2 of this video lesson of your module 9 entitled Solving Routine and Non-Routine Problems Involving Experimental and Theoretical Probability. Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raymond. My name is Mr. Jem Raymond Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. For your suggestions, especially on the topic for my next tutorial, please leave your comment below. Hope you learned something in my video lessons for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Stay home and stay safe. Let's start with your what's more of your module number one. When a die is rolled, what is the theoretical probability that number five will be rolled? So ang tinatanong sa number one class ay ang probability na lalabas yung five, yung number five, kapag na-roll na yung die natin. Ilan ba yung five sa die? Very good. We have one lang naman, di ba? Oh, anim lahat yan. So, we have 1 out of 6 lahat. So, 1, 6 yung answer natin. Pwede mo namang i-convert yan to percent form. So, 1 divided by 6 times 100 will give you about 16.67%. So, lalabas yung 5 na number kapag na roll na yung die, 1, 6 or 16.67% probability. Number 2, Ruby tossed a die 50 times. The results are recorded in the table below. What is the experimental probability that 5 will appear? So we have here the result class. No, Actually, this is a form of experimental probability. We have the result in rolling a die 50 times. Okay? So yung 1, lumabas siya 10 times. Yung number 2, lumabas siya 6 times. Number 3, 14 times. Number 4, 6 times. 5 is 12 times and yung number 6 class sa die lumabas 2 times lang. Ang tinatanong dito class, ano daw yung experimental probability na lalabas ulit yung 5? So gagamitin natin yung data natin sa table. So ilang beses ba lumabas yung 5 class? Very good, 12. So ang numerator natin ay 12. Ilang times ba na roll yung die? Very good, we have 50. So, ito na yung ating experimental probability. Pero, we need to reduce this to lowest term by dividing the numbers to its GCF or greatest common factor. What is the greatest common factor of 12 and 50? Very good. We have 2. No? Yung 2 na pinakamalaking number class na pwedeng makahati sa 12 at saka 50. Now, 12 divided by 2 would give you very good, 6. And 50 divided by 2 would give you 25. So, pwede natin yung i-convert again to percent form. That 6 divided by 25 times 100 will give you 24%. So, yung probability, yung experimental probability na lalabas yung number 5 ulit sa pagtos ng die is 24% or 6 over 25 in fraction form. Number 3. A box contains 5 blue sticks, 4 red sticks, and 3 orange sticks. Find the theoretical and experimental probabilities of getting orange stick. Now, unahin na muna natin yung theoretical probability class. So, ano daw yung kulay na hinahanap natin dito? Yes, yung orange. Ilan ba lahat yung stick natin na orange? Very good, we have 3. Ilan ba lahat yung stick natin? Very good, we have 12. So 5 plus 4 plus 3, we have 12 lahat-lahat ang sticks. That would be our theoretical probability of our orange stick na mabubunot natin. Now, we will reduce that to lowest term by dividing it by 3. Very good. 3 divided by 3 will give you 1 and 12 divided by 3 will give you 4 or that is 25% sa percent form. So, 25% lang yung chance na makukuha natin yung orange na stick. Ngayon, that's the first one, the theoretical probability. Punta naman tayo sa experimental class probability. This is supposedly done by you at home, no? Now, so, dapat may stick ka dyan na ilalagay sa bag. And then, 
We have blue sticks, red sticks, and orange na stick. Ngayon, you have to record the color and return the sticks in the bag. Okay? So, pagkatapos mong mabunot yung stick class, i-return mo yung stick inside the bag and then you have to repeat 10 times. Ngayon, may binigay dito na halimbawa class eh. Count the number of times an orange stick is picked. So, supposedly 2. Dalawang beses na, na lumabas yung stick. Supposedly lang. Kung uh, gagawin mo ito sa bahay. And then, of course, that would be 2 as your numerator. And the denominator, ilan times ba? How many times you pick our stick inside the box? Yes, 10 times. So, reduce natin yan by 2. So, we'll give you 1 fifth or 20%. So, you'll have 1 fifth or 20% chance na makukuha yung orange na stick. Of course, your answer there may vary. No? Depending on the result of your experiment. Itong ibinigay ko dito ay halimbawa lang naman to. Let's proceed to the what I can do part of your module number one. In a popular television game show, a contestant must choose one from the five envelopes. One envelope contains the grand prize, a car. Find the theoretical probability of choosing the envelope that contains the car prize. Ito yung mga envelope class lima yan. Ngayon, ano daw yung probability na makakakuha tayo ng grand prize na car? Ilan ba yung envelope na may car na grand prize? Isa lang naman yun. We'll have one in our numerator. And ilan lahat yung envelopes? Yes, five. Ngayon, ilang percent ba yung one-fifth class? Convert natin yung one-fifth na yan sa percent form. Very good. We have 20%. Ibig sabihin, 20% probability na makukuha ng contestant yung envelope na may lamang grand prize na car. Number two. James made 15 out of 35 free throws. What is his experimental probability as a fraction? So, napakadali lang nito, class. Ilan ba lahat na ishoot ni James sa kanyang free throws? Yes, 15 lang naman lahat yon. How about ilan lahat yung free throws na nagawa niya? Yes, so that's 35. So, 15 over 35. But then, we will uh, reduce that to lowest term by dividing it to 5. Their GCF, actually. So, 15 divided by 5 will give you 3, and 35 divided by 5 will give you 7. So, 3 over 7 lang yung answer natin kasi fraction form ang itinatanong sa number 2. Number 3, the table below shows the result of spinning the spinner 100 times. What is the experimental probability of landing on 2? So, dito class, meron tayong result. After spinning the spinner 100 times, ito na yung result. Yung number 1, 11 times siya lumabas. Number 2, 22, 3, 15. Number 4, 33. And 5 is 19. Ang tinatanong dito is yung 2. Ilang times ba lumabas yung 2? Very good, 22. Ilan lahat yung pag-spin ng ating spinner? Very good, 100. Ano yung GCF ng 22 at saka 100? Very easy. That's 2. No? 22 divided by 2 would be 11 and 100 divided by 2 would be 50. Or that is 22% in percent form. Number 4. There are 4 queens in a standard deck of 52 playing cards. No? Meron tayong 4 na queen cards sa 52 playing cards natin. Diba? 52 lahat yan. Now, if Ryle picks a card at random, what is the probability that he picks a queen card? Kahit anong klase ng queen cards, no, pwede. So, ilan ba lahat yung queen cards natin? Very good. We have 4 out of 52. And then, simply you divide it by their GCF, which is 4. Okay, 4 divided by 4 is 1 and 52 divided by 4 is 13. Or, in percent, that is 7.69. So, ibig sabihin, about 7.69% yung chance na mabubunot natin yung queen card sa deck of cards natin dito. Sa 52 playing cards natin. And number 5, Kia has seen 12 blue, 15 white, and 23 red cars driving by her house in 2 hours. So, meron siyang nakitang 12 blue cars, 15 white cars, and 23 red cars. Ngayon, ang tinatanong dito, what is the probability that the next car driving by her house is not a white 
car. So, ano daw yung probability class na hindi white car ang dadaan sa kanilang bahay? Ngayon, anong gagawin mo? Very good. I-add mo lang yung blue at saka yung red. That would be 12 plus 23 would equal to 35 cars. So, we have 35 cars class na hindi white ang dumaan sa bahay ni Kia. So, yung 35 na yan class, ang gagamitin natin na data over 50. No? Kung i-add mo yan lahat, 12 plus 15 plus 23, 50 lahat yan. So, 35 over 50 ang hindi white cars na dumaan sa bahay ni Kia. Reduce that to lowest term. That's 35 divided by 5, of course. So, 35 divided by 5 would give you 7 and 50 divided by 5 would give you 10. Or, percent form would give you 70%. So, meaning, 70% lahat yung possibility na hindi white cars ang dadaan sa bahay ni Kia. Okay, this time, you answer the assessment and additional activities part of your module. I'll give you time to answer and your time starts now. Hanggang dito na muna ang ating discussion class. Kung gusto mo mapanood ang part 3 ng video lesson na to, pwede mo namang i-click yung link na nasa itaas. Thank you so much for watching. Keep safe everyone!